All right, for this question, it's asking for a solution for x and y. Um, so this is a simultaneous equation because we have two equations for two unknowns. So there are two ways to solve this. We can use the elimination method or the substitution method. So I am going to lay out both of them. So depending on which one you prefer, you can go that way. All right, so let's start with the uh, elimination method, right? So elimination method. And we also have the substitution method method okay so for the elimination method what we're trying to do is simply do that eliminate one of the unknowns so when I look at this um, to eliminate something you want to have the same exact thing but different signs so when I look at this I see the X's the X is 3x I minus mean, minus 3 here so it'd be nice if this X could just have a 3 here if it did then this 3x and minus 3 minus x would just cancel if this had a 3. So let's go ahead and do just that. I'm going to take um, the whole equation as is. I'm going to take the whole equation as is and just uh, rewrite it, but now have this x be a 3. So I am going to think about this and say, OK, what do I need to do to get this um, uh, this this minus x to become a minus 3x so it could cancel with this 3x I just multiply by 3 so essentially this top is going to still be 3x plus 4y equal to minus 23 that's the top it hasn't changed but this bottom is now uh, actually I'm going to switch it around so that way the x's are right under each other so this 3 times minus x is now minus 3x here this 3 times 2y is a plus 6y and this 3 times 19 is going to give us 57 negative 57 there so if you combine that that crosses out this gives you 10 y and then when you add this up you're going to get negative 80 divided by 10 on both sides so y is negative 8. now the cool thing about this is if you look at the answer key there's only one answer choice that has a y as negative 8 so you don't really even need to calculate the x part um, so in this case the answer is going to be b we know that because b is the only one that has a y that's negative that's negative 8. If you go ahead with the substitution method, with substitution, what you do is you look at the original and say, which part of this is easy to rewrite? And that would be this bottom one. <clears throat> so for this bottom one, what we want to do is I want to probably solve for x, OK? Get x by itself using this bottom equation and then plug that x here to this top equation. So I'm going to take this bottom equation and say, I'm going to do something really interesting here. I want this x by itself. So I'm going to move this x to the right side and move this 19 in. So I'm so like a double move. The reason I'm doing that is my x, I want it to be by itself, plus it's a negative. And I don't like you know things having negative signs. So I know if I move it to the right, it should change sign and become a positive. But if I move the right x over here, and I want x by itself, I have to move this 19 over here. So this negative 19 will become positive when it comes here. So it becomes 2y plus 19 equal to x. So now I've gotten the x by itself. I'm going to take that x information and I'm going to plug it into the other top one, which is the 3x plus that. So that's going to become 3 parentheses plus the 4y equal to minus 23. OK, so inside of here, it used to be 3x. Well, that x is 2y plus 19 now. OK, multiply through, you get 6y plus 3 times the 19 again is 57 plus 4y equal to negative 23. The 6y and 4y is 10y plus 57 equal to negative 23. Obviously, this 57 will go over here because like terms. So plus 57 will become minus 57 when it comes here. So it's 10y equal to minus 23 minus 57, which is negative 80, 10y divided by 10 on both sides. So y again is negative 8. So getting the same negative 8, the answer is also going to be B. So using elimination method or substitution method, you could solve this question relatively easily on the SAT.